Oh. Never dull moment at the Vosquay Mining Farm. Also, that's my AI. Cortana. So, what's even going on? What, what, what am I talking about here today? Well, let me tell you. The next stage of Voscoin mining is here. What's up? My name is Drew Vosker on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'm a full-time crypto freaking maniac. And obviously we have the Voscoin YouTube channel, uh, but we have been building in a very serious capacity, the Voscoin mining farm. <laughs> Immersion, baby. Oh yeah, it's finally here. We've got our first piece of immersion mining farm infrastructure that we're going to be deploying. This is a DCX system. They call this an enclosure, which is basically a big immersion tank that they make. That behind me is a dry cooler. A dry cooler is basically a big radiator. So you have Bitcoin miners. There are these custom computers. You dunk them here in the fluid. And then the fluid runs through that radiator that's outside and it cools it. Hot fluid goes in, much air over it. Cooler fluid goes out. That's a simple essence of what we're dealing with. Why would you do this? It's supposed to make your miners last longer. You can uh, use less electricity when you're running them. You can overclock them further because they run cooler. Uh, there's benefits across the board, but uh, you do end up with immersion fluid which can be kind of a pain. It's an oil, right? Uh, so think of like mineral oil, if you've ever dealt with that, or uh, you know any kind of really silicone-based stuff. Uh, the key thing though is it's an oil, right? So the solvent is oil-based. It's not like you just wash your hands and this comes right off. It's, it, it's kind of gnarly. In particular, we are going to be using Thermostase R by Dielectric Fluids, the recommended fluid by DCX. Uh, the pump is on the unit. We have the testing pump here as well. And obviously uh, the dry cooler definitely makes a statement. Unfortunately, due to the way all this stuff is wired, uh, this is all built in Europe. Uh, so this is actually a product of Poland here. We will need to cut this off and put a new adapter on the end that will work for our US outlets here instead of trying to hunt down Euro spec stuff. And I already have the location where this is all gonna go wired. Not originally wired for this, but but it simply we'll be able to make it work. They have a uh, temperature controller here, some hose clamps, right? A supplied hose. It's gonna make all this possible. And uh, I mean, that's, that's basically it. It's a relatively simple thing that a lot of people get tripped up by. So when we look at this, uh, we can see these are the fittings, right? Uh, we're going to connect the hose to those fittings. We're going to be connecting the hose to these fittings. Um, and, and that's really the gist of it. Obviously the dry cooler is going to go outside, the tub is going to go inside. And uh, then you just have to deal with the, the tuning of the infrastructure and understand that once you dunk stuff, it's pretty much dedicated to immersion mining. DCX, uh, I need to hit the gym. DCX has their own PDU here. And it's been lightly sprinkled with a little bit of immersion and shipping. Uh, this is actually uh, one of the kits they had at Mining Disrupt if you attended that mining conference down in Florida. Uh, so that went there, unpacked, shown off, and then sent up here uh, to me. And because they're already here and they already had some kits, they gave me the special deal uh, to send me this uh, to use here on the farm. So very cool. Thank you, DCX, for the opportunity. Because diving, huh, pun, right, into immersion mining, uh, liquid mining through immersion fluids uh absolutely next on my to-do list so even thinking about buying an asic mining rig that's cool but maybe you were wondering where you should get one that's where coin mining central comes into play use our link down in the video description below but above all do not forget to punch in the code voscoin to save some cash uh, this is a 100 amp pdu it's built for three phase. Uh, so we are going to see and consider wiring it up with my single phase electricity that I have right now. The Boscoin Mining Farm is moving to uh, three phase electricity eventually, but that time is not now. It's rated for 100 amps. This enclosure is built to house eight miners. 
Uh, so all of those, you know, fit within realistic parameters. You can expect a Antminer S19, you know, say, or just really any current generation uh, Bitcoin miner and other altcoin mining rigs. You're pretty much pulling around 3,000 watts. That equates to about 13 and a half amps. You operate 80% rule. It puts you a little bit over that, but the classic guy thing to say is it'll probably be fine. Due to the ethernet connections here, you can also notice that it's a smart PDU. We have breakers on the PDU unit. And surprisingly, there's no main breaker. So best case, I'll be able to get this thing working. Uh, that's still a TBD on uh, something I need to figure out. Worst case, I mean, I'll just use a different PDU. Uh, it's not the end of the world. And maybe I'll just save that for a three phase deployment. Um, I mean, that's kind of some of the hurdles when you're trying to mine with industrial grade gear on single phase electricity. Everything else here uh, will operate on single phase electricity. So that'll all be pretty easy to do and deal with. And uh, you know, worst case scenario, I could literally just have outlets on the wall and plug the miners into the outlets and then run, it, run the cord straight to the mining rig and I'll be mining, I will be operational. All right, now it's time for a cool time skip. Cue the dramatic music, the training. Maybe my hair is gonna change colors. Oh yeah, we're here. And we leveled up. This isn't some really cool cut and bloop, we time skipped and everything's set up. No, we're just uh, over here at the mining shed. The original 2.0, if you will, gray mining shed, which I hate to say it, I got this thing like a year ago, but I only got electricity about nine months ago out here. Got it all wired up and all that, and I've just been fixated on other things out here on the mining farm. In, in particular, we built out the digital shovel, mini pod, basically a plug and play Bitcoin mining container, uh, customized if you will. I uh, got very fixated on the hard drive mining shed, and uh, now we're bringing it back to the, the mining shed, uh, which is not the hard drive mining shed. And I know, I know, I make fun of people and their names, and here I am naming everything the same. Dang it, Bobby. But the point here being, is so we're in this, we're in the mining shed, which once we install immersion, it will evolve just like Squirtle into War Turtle. Okay, permanent change, a permanent evolution. You can't just slap B anymore and stop it. Into the mining, I think I said it again. Into the immersion. Blah, 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 blah. Mining shit. I might put bubbles on the wall like I'm in an underground sonic level or something. But the point here being is that we already wired electricity in here. I had a plan. Uh-oh, ghosts are shutting me in. Uh, I already had a plan here for uh, air-cooled mining. Um, since taking a delivery of this, uh, basically I've been working on a air cool deployment as well, an additional one, and a uh, immersion mining deployment. Uh, I mean, getting plans ironed out and getting gear in, I mean, it's difficult to put it simply. Uh, so this is, this wiring, I, I wouldn't have done it this way in retrospect. I would have ran all the wire up high and would have given me the whole wall to work with for all kinds of things. Uh, but the point here being is that it's gonna drop a tank in here, right? and then I need to cut a hole in the wall and put a heat exchanger, a condenser, a, um, they, they call them a dry cooler, okay? And uh, so that's gonna be good for eight miners. I've got 400 amps dedicated to this shed on single phase until I get my three phase build out. <gasps> Ooh, creepy. So if you look at this DCX deployment, I basically need two more of these, or if you look at this clip when we toured a DCX immersion mining farm, uh, not official, he just you know did a DCX build out with equipment. Uh, then basically one rack of these three of these uh, would get me where I want to go so the point here being though is I may just deploy three of those or three something similar I'd like to get different gear and compare some different manufacturers um, if that lines up you know say have manufacturer a b c see which one runs the best and then report back to you guys and say hey you know in my experience this is what happened uh, and you know do with it whatever you want to do uh, so I need to make a decision about where I want to pull out the dry coolers. Um, looking at this location, I don't really want to shoot a bunch of hot air uh, towards the hard drive mining shed in particular because I have a uh, mini split there uh, because that's an HVAC climate controlled uh, build out. It's basically a mini data center. Uh, so I could put it here. It's an option. Um, I could bring them out the back of the building. But what I'm planning for basically is to deploy three. 
So if I look at the footprint of that thing though, and I don't want it shooting hot air into the next one, you know, it's like freaking human centipede, gross. Uh, then, you know, I can really only kind of put one here or I could bring it out past the building and put two side by side. Uh, and maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just drop this first one here and I, I don't want to always just get ahead of myself. Uh, I'm like the guy when I played like SimCity and City Skyline and I'm, it's, you know, it's a city builder, it's a strategy game. I'm like working on this really intricate road design. I'm, I'm going to solve traffic, boys. I'm going to solve traffic. There won't be any traffic in Bosk Town. Well, sorry, Boskville's gone bankrupt, sir, because all you built were roads. You got no tax paying citizens and they cost too much to maintain and everything goes to crap. And I got to restart. I'm joking, but I'm serious. That, that really did happen a couple times. Inherently, I just always want to enhance things, improve things, think ahead, do it once, do it right, buy once, cry once, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, so, but anyway, to put it simply, I think it just kind of makes sense to drop a dry cooler out there. And then if I get a couple more dry coolers, dro drop them here, here, here. I got plenty of real estate on this wall. Um, and if I do bigger units, I would end up with three dry coolers in this basically style of deployment. Uh, it's not necessarily ideal uh, at scale. There's a lot better immersion mining solutions, uh, but this would be considered a small scale immersion mining deployment. And if I do want to, you know, make this a mining playground and test a bunch of different gear, I'm just going to end up with different dry coolers for each one. I also want to test out, I've, I've noticed uh, there's some manufacturers making one unit, two unit, uh, you know, very small scale immersion mining deployments. Um, and so I want to leave some space and maybe drop some of those here as well. Uh, Alexa's gonna freaking kill me, Miss Vosk, because uh, she wants everything to be nice, uniform, you know, just, and I'm just like, you know, f it. It's industrial, baby. More stuff? Bitch, we're doing more. If I had a factory, I'd be like, yeah, let's throw another smokestack on it, whatever we need to do. But in all seriousness, that's basically the plan. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do out here. Um, and I'm super thankful, and I, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but I do have some elite immersion mining farm operators coming out to help me with this deployment so I don't royally f it up uh, next week. And uh, that's awesome for a lot of reasons. And that will also help me focus more on recording and explaining what the hell is going on instead of fumbling through everything, getting very mad, cussing, wondering why I ever got into mining and I didn't just buy the coin and all the things you say when you're basically a mad miner. So. That's all I got. That's the update. I uh, hope you, you know, enjoyed it. Please subscribe, stick along, and, and, and watch me on this crazy crypto journey as I will either, you know, sail the seven seas or I will fail miserably. I don't know. I hope at a minimum that this is entertaining. And uh, on that note, we're going to run what we do. Staple here, Boss Coin YouTube channel. 10 Seconds of Tails, who has now been promoted. It's not a lateral transfer, boys. It's a promotion to our CI. Oh, our chief immersion officer at the Bosco on YouTube channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.